Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back, welcome back. <clears throat> so, I spoke last time about doing some revisions to the tractor, and I think that's what we're going to do in this one. So, the first thing I wanted to do was expand the engine and add more weight to the back. Even though it seems like there already is a fair amount of weight. <clears throat> see if we can I want to double the I want to double up so in the let's see is that gonna work no it's gonna have to go higher than that in the other one the dump truck the big one it has a three three by three I think it's three three by three Engine to there, and then that goes to the <coughs> fuel manifold. Yeah, I think that's right. All right. So this is what we're working with right now. So that was a single. This had a single one by one on it. And now we're gonna make it a double, a double one by one. So let's just piece that. Paste that for now, and then we'll grab all that, we'll cut that, we'll paste that for now. <clears throat> okay, now in, in amongst this mess, I should be adding, if I'm going to be adding anything, it should be weight. Like that, and then we need to go modular engine, and we need a second three by three crankshaft. So this is going to be a hardy, hardy engine. Okay, and then that, and then I need. The only problem here is going to be cooling it. Oh, because what did I do on the other one? Yeah, see, so we need one, one of those is for the exhaust, and one of those is going to be for the cooling. Just like we have there. So I'm going to make this a little more efficient. <clears throat> Let's see. It goes out, and then it goes into... Oh, it doesn't. Oh, I see. That's why I needed such a large radiator. gonna have to come down. It's a good thing there's a room here and then I'll have to go across. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> so I guess they're already there's there's already exhaust coming off of these, but I should because they're connected together, right? Because they're connected together there, they're already So I could, for instance, save that and maybe put on another cooling uh, manifold if I needed to. Right? Put two cooling pumps on here, maybe. Uh, I don't think I will need them. But where are we here? Where are we? This one has to go this way, and then from there, it has to go up. <laughs> there we go. Ha, I made it out. But you didn't think I would, but I did. 
So then this side here is easy, obviously. Uh, this one's going to come down. This is going to be the... Should be able to just create two loops like that. Uh, there's honestly there's no point. This one here makes no sense. If I'm just gonna do that, right? If I'm just gonna do this on the bottom there, it, it doesn't make any sense. I may as well save it and just do like. Uh, Give it an exhaust and then make this bottom part a pump. That, that, uh, there it is. <laughs> that makes more sense. See if we get the. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's the rear connector. Yeah, that's fine. Do that. See if we can stuff it all back in there now. So if I take. And we cut him. And we put him right there. And then if I take let's see if I get rid of those blocks. Now we just have this really long radiator to deal with. So, uh, this makes, I like that clearance on the bottom. So let's see, one, two, one, two. Let's see what we can do about this pump situation here. Then come off here, and then I'm not any longer. Two, three, four. What is that? One, two, three, four, five. The radiator is gonna have to sit down there. In there. So we'll take that. So now it's like right on the bottom of the. Where are we here? Yeah, now it's right on the bottom. There we go. We can do that. Uh, and then I want to get rid of this camera. Oh, this was part of the shape. One, two, oh, you know what? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. If I do that, uh, these, I would 
feed the pops here. Hold on a second. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? All right. Then we need a uh, pop. Honestly, it doesn't matter which way they go. All right, then we need a radiator. Take one of these. And now that should be attached. All right, now this part here could be all weight. That worked out really well. Really, 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 really well. There we go. I can't put a camera back in there. Cool. There we go. Something like that. And then uh, we'll just take these. This was more just decoration. that you can just kind of see, you can kind of see, you know what's going on in there. That's cool. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, so we needed more weight on the back, and we needed more weight on the front. Not too much, but just enough so when it's, because now it's really going to lurch forward. Well, okay, in comparison, you see the chassis that the, the three of these can, support <clears throat> 70 kilometers an hour on that really big vehicle so I mean all right and then this here was binding this here so that's gonna have to be cut back by two it was binding in here all right well that's pretty good let's see I can This way blocks. Um, now let's take the electricity from the very small battery and turn that on. It's not that small of a battery, it just, oh, and then I do want to have a cable connection on here. Let's see, this ladder needs to go that way. Could I, could I not grab the rest of it at the same time? All right. Now with the cable connection, and I'll put a cable connection here on the car. There we go. Now, worst case scenario, it'll charge while it's sitting charge while it's there. Okay, so that's that and that is that. And then what I wanted to do is I wanted to replace this with a long bit. This one here and then I'll do a one by three here. This one I'm gonna save for a little bit later. It's just gonna be the stats and stuff. Then we need a video. Uh, do I want? They don't. 
know what? Let's just do this. Let's, let's just do a blank. Let's do our own. Uh, we'll do another custom microcontroller for this. It can't go any higher than that. We're at our max height. So if I'm going to put a custom microcontroller, uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Bring this into the modern. So it'll be, I guess it'll be ugly for now. I'll have to finish connecting that exhaust pipe there. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's finish. That's already an exhaust tip. Let's get that out of there so we can see it. Black. All right, there we go. So that's kind of the engine. Oh, you know, I guess that. That can make sense. I see that's L1. That's L1, alright. So. I can do that. Can I fit that blank uh, microcontroller? Blank. Blank microcontroller. Nice. Okay, so it does fit. <clears throat> then I can do that. Nice, all right. Okay, so in here we are going to have a couple of videos. Our front camera and our, our rear camera. And then we'll have our video out. What all, yeah, okay, so let's see, we'll update that. Uh, keep this camera here. I thought maybe if we put one on the front. We could do that. Uh, we'll get rid of that one. That was these two monitors here. <clears throat> I'm going to replace those with the indicator lights. So there's that one there, and then... I guess to see if we're if we're connected, I really should put one in here. Maybe that's what that camera can be. Uh, yeah, for now. Let's see, and it was number seat number four. Those, okay, so number four turns that on, and then we can have a video from here to there. <clears throat> That's cool, that makes sense. Well, actually, it'll come. Yeah, okay. No, we'll do that. It'll go under here. I need another one, video in. Uh, this is gonna be uh, in. From connector view, and then this will be front. And this will be rear. <clears throat> All right, uh, in from rear, front. All right, and then now we need to update that. So what I wanted to do was put an OR on here. Uh, I could probably, let's see. I wanted to see if there was room on the seat. One, two, and three. Two was a toggle button, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put the or. Hmm. I'm just thinking it's such a pain to have to, to switch gears from forward. I guess it doesn't really matter. 
forward in reverse. I wanted to put an R there, but now, okay, so then, what do I want to do with the cameras? I guess I could have an OR <coughs> for the camera, and then, no, even that doesn't matter. I'll just have an input here. All right, all right, all right. So we need the input from reverse. This is gonna switch the view on the camera, right? So we need, uh, we need a, a, a prompt to switch, a video switch box. Right, so the default view is gonna be the front view. And then when we're in reverse, we're gonna have that view. And then that's gonna go out to there. Oh, and then we need one more output. Uh, this is gonna be video. This is gonna be output, this is gonna be out. Uh, let's see, connected. View, and then this one here is gonna be out main TV, and then we'll have one more, right, which is going to be out to stats, which will probably run through here. So I don't need this switch box for there. Uh, and this is going to go out to connector view. But then I want uh, a couple of little blocks. One there, one there. And we're going to run that through here, out to main TV, and run that through here. Uh, the main TV, all I want to do is, I don't think I'm going to get any inputs from it, but I want to draw, I want to draw, I don't want to draw a circle, I want to go screen dot draw rectangle, is that right? Copy and paste it, uh, and then what's what is the? It'll be let's see. Let's go ninety four by ninety four, and the x and the y is going to be one by one. Yeah, and then what color is it going to be? So let's just check on that for a minute. Save this. That's a lot to have done. Save the vehicle. I did have the capacity of these bins also. About 900, so I could fill this thing up a couple of times. All right, so let me do that, and I'm going to This monitor is not on. this one here reverse all right reverse goes into there okay so that's that and then we need the video we need the cameras this camera is going to go to the front going to be the connector view, out to connector view, and then we need the rear camera, and this is going to go out to here. All right, uh, so then we'll see. Joe, I'm just having a little fun on this one. front of us and that's right behind us that's the connector itself cool so now when we're driving it'll be easy to see exactly where we are that's 
Yeah. Nice. I just, either that or I have I have this one. No, that's fine because then I have I have the connector view here, and then this could be uh, that. Maybe maybe that's maybe that's a bit better actually. Maybe I'll I'll reverse those. Uh, let's see. This will be front, and then this will be connector view. This thing's gonna need a lot more weight. This thing's gonna need a lot more weight. Uh, a lot more weight. A lot more. I, yeah, probably something like that. All right, so this connector here, it doesn't, we don't need it anymore. That's been disconnected. That's perfect. Uh, now I can try and start the beast up. Well, I want to do one more thing. I want to do one more thing. So I was just kind of playing around with it, but now that we have reverse, uh, what I can also do is go opposite right, on off. And we can run this in here on channel one. And then I wanted to say, uh, I want to say function um, on tick. All right, and then we need an end in there, obviously. <coughs> and I want to say uh, input. Oh, we'll say a break equals input dot get uh, get bool. And then this is going to be channel one. Oh, and I said break. Whoops. All right, <clears throat> and we're going to say, um, if break, then <clears throat> it's going to do this. But we want to change that color. We want to change that color to red, which I think is 255, 255, 255. Choose red. All right. I'm going to PQR. 25500. <laughs> All right. So okay, let's copy this. And then it's 25500. And we can say this. Sure, that works. Does that work? Uh, all right. And expected mirror. There we go. All right, so now when it goes into reverse, this rectangle should change color <clears throat> from green to red. So if I tell it to reverse, <laughs> it, did, it did something. It didn't do what I wanted it to do, but it did something. What's going on here? Uh, rear is on. Hold on a second here. Let me see if there's power. All right, there's electricity to the camera. There is video to the camera. Oh, it's not gonna let me do that. I just have to do this. This is the easiest way. 
to do that, I think. Is that right? And then we'll do that. There we go. Oh, I exited by accident. Whoops, silly me, silly me, silly me. Sometimes if you exit like that and you go back into the workbench too fast, it can glitch. So I've just noticed it with Stormworks sometimes when you're building and stuff, especially in career mode, you kind of want to slow down a little bit. And, uh, okay, so that worked there. It's in reverse mode. Oh, you know what? It's not, that's, that's not going to work because... It's, it need, we need a uh, push to toggle. We need a push to toggle. Because we, we have to push it again to get out of reverse mode. And that's gonna send a constant on signal here. Uh, if bake, and I said break. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so you want to check to make sure that your variables are spelled the same. Well, if I press four and then I put it in reverse. All right, now what? Not doesn't want to change color, so let's analyze this for a minute. Comes in here, comes in here, comes in here. Break input dot get bool. Get bool index. Oh, I guess I don't have to set it because we're not outputting it. Um, break equals input. I get bool one. If I break then maybe that has to go. Like that. So that way it draws it. First it draws this and then if it turns that on, it draws that over top of that. Because what we were doing is we were drawing this at the end of this. So first it draws the red, then it draws the green. First it draws the white, and then at the very end it draws. We don't want to do that. First we want it to draw the green, and then if we press the button, we want it to draw red over top of the green. There we go, and now we know we're in reverse mode. Cool. So that's what I want to do to, this is the connector. Um, so it's going to be a little difficult when there's, right, there's no vision there. So I should switch back to the other. Now that I got that working, I should switch the cameras back. Now I can check to see uh, if this is connected. Or can I only release it? It won't, it won't the ordinance will tell me if it's connected, but it won't. Uh, all right, that's fine. I guess that's fine. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so now I want some just some lights in here, right? Just some basic. Uh, what do we want? We've got reverse. We've got the e brake. Um, we have the boom lock. So I wanted a couple more. Oh, if I've actually pressed the bin release button, where is that release container? Yes, and now what I can do is I can have that input into here, and I'll do the exact same thing. We'll get an input for release container right here. Release container. Uh, and then we need a constant. Basically, we'll just, we can just do this here. Copy and paste. Just like that. Look at that one. <laughs> there we go. And now when it's 
uh, released, it'll be red. And when it's in connected mode, it'll be green. And it's just sort of an additional visual reference that we can apply. Uh, release container here, save that. Just the little things that are going to make driving this better and easier and smarter. So now we can turn it on. Oh yeah, I have to change uh, one moment here. Uh, instead of it being 96, it's going to be uh, the height is going to be 30. Thirty is thirty-two by thirty-two, or thirty-two by ninety-six. So, yes. and then I want to put a map in the, the locomotive. So I guess this is kind of train work, some Lua work, just having some fun. Right. So if I go into reverse mode, okay, and then if I press the bin. There we go. Now I know it should also, okay, so now what we can do, now what we can do is we can expand on that. And I can say, okay, in here, now I want to print some text. So I can say, draw text, right, in here. Uh, this one is update that. That's not break. This is release. We don't want to uh, whatever we we'll say. Uh, bin. Bin off. There we go. Something real easy. Okay. So then we want this to be in the center of the screen. So we are 32 high. So we'll be 16 down. And we're going to start the text in. We have 96 pixels wide. Uh, so we want to be, let's see, if we say release, each, uh, each character is four pixels wide. So R-E-L-E-A-S-E, -E -E, so it's five uh, at four. That's 20 plus a space in between. That'd be 25, uh, which would be, well, so we can start at part 32. We can start at part 36. And then, oh, you know what? Let's um, copy that and we're going to go in here. And we're going to do this. We're going to say, say reverse. Like that. Perfect. Okay, we'll update that. And now all we're doing is we're adding, we're enhancing the vehicle. So when you press a button, not only do we get a, a button that we can look at, to say, okay, I've released the bin. Oh, there's no power in there. Uh, oh, do I need to put the text in? Probably need to put it in close here. Cow, 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Probably going to have to do that. <clears throat> Wrap it in quotes. See, they don't explain that. So if you don't, if you don't know, if you've never done this before, you're like, I put the text in there, how come it doesn't work, right? You know, you could explain a few things a little bit better. Us noobs. All right, let press four. Yeah, you see that? Now you know you're in reverse. And then we press the bin. That comes on. Uh, it should say release. Why doesn't it say release? All right. Uh, now this one here can also be, instead of 36, this could be, uh, well, if the center was, uh, 
so hard math. Why is it math so hard? Why is math so hard? 93 and a half. I guess, I guess we can try 40. It doesn't have to be that. Now, why is this one working? Uh, 16 down. It's 32. Oh, look at this one here. Trying to rectangle 16 by 30. No, this should be uh, 30 by 30. Yeah, and this should also be 30 by 30. No, 30 by, not 30, we're 96. So 90, 94. Yeah, 94. That's right. That's right there. That makes a lot more sense. Now this text is going to be halfway and halfway there. We go. That would make way more sense. <laughs> one monitor is 96 by 96, and one monitor is 32 by 96. That's this one here. Oh my goodness, I'm having troubles. The bin. What's going on? Uh, rectangle. Draw a rectangle. X, Y, width. Oh, the width and the height. So the width should be 94. And the height should be 30. And the width should be 94. And the height should be 30. On the little one. There we go. And then the text. X, Y, and then the text. And then that that should be let's just, just say off. Just keep it simple. Just keep it simple. All right. Oh, and then the last thing, maybe the bin isn't actually connected in the microcontroller. It might not be. So let's double check the microcontroller. Bin goes in. Okay. Is it connected? It is connected. Composite is connected. This is release container. All right. Out to get connector view. All right, should work. Uh, let's see here. Monitor. Ha, it's just not printing the text. I should also figure out what white is. What's white? 255, 255, 255. Okay, so that's what I want to change the text color to. 255, 255, 255. Uh, there, we'll say. That way it's just visible. Makes sense. The break is working, um, but this isn't working. Why is that? Push to toggle. It's 32 pixels tall. Oh, why is our height 
x is in and y is our height. Oh, that's why. So this should actually be 16. And this should be, uh, if we were at the center, yeah, I don't know. Eight, something like that, maybe. Try, try. Let me try that. Close enough. It'll be just off center. It's late. I'm tired. Too tired to get my calculator out. Divide by two. I don't want to divide by two right now. <laughs> All right. So I would just press the bib. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I know I'm gonna have to. Do this. Okay. So let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. Cheap, 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 cheap. Just trying to should do an example, right? Try to do a better job. Okay. So x, y is our height. So this needs to be um, what, 48, 47. That's what's throwing me off. That's the center, 47. And then we want this to set it to be in 47. Uh, we want to subtract 4, 8, 12. Say like 45. All right, and then this one here, same thing. 47. Uh, we could probably do like 40, probably 43 for this one here. All right, now that's making a bit more sense to me. Get ready. X, X is your uh, linear, and Y is your vertical. Sometimes I get confused with that when I'm trying to think where is the x value going, where is the y value going. But the y value is going up and down, and the x value is going left and right. There we go. That's almost center. Okay. Cool. That works. Yes. There we go. You see? Now we're in reverse. I could put that in, you know, have a night vision mode. And then that's going to say... Uh, in. Oh, that shoot. Oh, I have to press that twice. That's the toggle, huh? Huh. Push the toggle or. Then it turns it to true, and then when you push it again, it turns it to false. Maybe this is where I need to have the else. The problem now is when it's a push button, right? Oh, you know what I need to do? No, 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 no. I know what I need to do here. I need, I, I'll get rid of this here instead of that. Okay. And then uh, reverse, we'll get rid of that. Put it into there. We'll update that. I can change it in the touchscreen systems. So reverse, oh, it is a push to toggle. Okay, and then release container is also a push to toggle. Okay, so I shouldn't have to do anything. So I'm actually turning it from a toggle back to a push switch. Oops. Oh yeah, there we go. By double by doubling it down like that. So I didn't actually need to do that. Okay. Yes, there we go. Then, then, oh, that's so sweet. Turn the spots on, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool, well, that'll do it for this quick little, not so quick video. <laughs> uh, I guess I just wanted to do a little bit of upgrades.
just do some upgrades to it, and then you're gonna. Container. Release container. What was the other one? I think I, the e brake was on there. Release container was on there. I don't know. I might have been uh, let's see, reverse. Mm, unlock e brake. <laughs> it's like I put dashes in there. Uh, what else we got here? Yeah, so I can tell if there's a bin on there. I can tell if it's locked or unlocked. Okay, now what we need to do is I need to check to see if there's enough weight on this thing, to see if there's enough weight to keep it down. So let's do that. Let's save it and let's start it up, see if we can fire it up now. So I just want to add a little, yeah, I want to add just a little bit of Lua to it just to kind of spice it up, right? So we'll release it. break on. Um, let's see, systems. And then uh, now we're just that forward a little bit. See, the boom's got to come up just a little bit. Oh, it's got lots of power now. That's two three by threes in there. Look at that, like double the speed. Double the speed, holy cow. <laughs> yeah. So I'll have the speed printed on here. You know, I'll do a couple of things just to sort of make it, uh, add some technology here. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. <laughs> wow. So I should probably put the max throttle at like, yeah, it's at 0.2, yeah, that'll be the max throttle, if we can get there. Okay, seems pretty sturdy, seems like it's got lots of power. Uh, I guess the only other thing I can do is add weight where I can. Now to keep it down, but it seemed to be pretty sturdy there. Uh, it's just when it when it lifts those containers. Maybe that's not those containers here. This is where the fuel is, right? How did I have that in here? Just a couple of containers. Yeah. Yeah, that should be alright. There should be a decent amount of weight on here. I can always double it like that. There we go. Cool. All right, then I need the uh, linear, linear speed sensor. You know, I can get a radio, an RX on here.
Okay, now it's ready. Oh, and then at the speed, the speed, the speed. Yeah, I guess we could do we could do speed in here. Let's see how do we, how are we gonna handle that? So we need a button for that here, and we need a number speed, and we'll bring that in, and we need a multiply, and we need a constant. And that number is going to be 3.6. And we can do that. And now we have kilometers per hour. Uh, and then we need a composite right number. And that goes into this one here and there. And then we can say in the Lua, we can say a speed. Get number, and that's going to be channel one. Uh, and then we can say down here, I want to draw text. Should be able to do this here. Uh, draw text. Uh, let's say five, 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 and then this could be our speed. Now, I don't know if it'll, I'm sure it's going to give me an error for that. Let me see. Let me see if I can, if it can be that simple. I don't think it can, but I think it's going to give me an error. Oh, no, look at that. It is that simple. It will just print speed. I don't actually have to convert it to say print Oh, if I want, if I want to get rid of the zeros, I do. So I have this one here, which I'll put there, and this one here has this. Oops! No, I can't undo that. No. Now this way I can choose, I can choose the amount of zeros I want. In this case it's zero, I can say one, I can say two. In this case I can say zero and then this is going to be speed. Update that, spawn that in there. There you see just one, and then I can change the color of that if I want you to white or whatever. Um, and then when we reverse, it's still going to be green. Cool. And then any other vitals I want, the uh, RPS, maybe heat and fuel. Let's, let's let's do that. Let's do that, right? This is something real, just a real, real simple stuff. So um, RPS, heat, and fuel. Let's see, number, 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 RPS, heat, fuel. I guess it's it's two bins. So I know they're 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 in line, but we'll just do that. Fuel A and B. A and B, and we'll get the individual number from the bins. Okay, so what is that? One, two, three. So we've got A and fuel A and B, that's two. Heat and RPS. Now heat comes in from the engine, so we may as well get a composite in from the engine. Engine in, okay. Uh, let me update this real quickly and bring the engine in there. I actually think I can get it there. <laughs> Uh, and what do we want here? We want the fuel. Fuel. Uh, 
fuel B, tank pressure. Here. and the heat the heat I don't need I guess I'm already converting it but I'll do it in here Where is it? Heat. get rid of that all right and then this because this is uh, we need to read that number and this is going to read on channel 3 so then I need to change this to Four channels to five channels. All right, so then we're going to go uh, heat, RPS, uh, fuel A, and fuel B. That's what we're going to write in this, okay? So heat, RPS, heat, RPS, fuel A, fuel B. Uh, speed, then what do we have here? Heat, heart, RPS, uh, fuel, heat, RPS. Just like that. Syntax error near A. I like to get rid of those spaces. Okay, so then it's going to do that. So then we also need text. And we need to change where that is. So we're going to need to change the text here. So this will be speed, right? Heat, RPS, fuel A. Let's just change that here. Right. You know, something like that. Just, it's just, it's just statistics, just to kind of throw on here, just to read. Uh, now this is, this is at five, and these each character is how tall? Five pixels tall. So this is probably going to want to be at in five, down ten. Uh, you know what? This is going to want to be ten. This is all right, so all these are going to be in five. They're all going to be on that left-hand side. And then this is five, and then this should be uh, 11, because we want to have a one pixel. Or is that starting at 11? Yeah, I think that's right. That starts at five. This starts at five. So this should be uh, in two. And then we need to add uh, six to that. So that's going to be eight. And then we're going to add six to that, which is 14. And that's going to be 20. That's going to be 26, uh, 32, 38. Uh, what is that? 44, 50, and 56. See how that looks. And 
that way it should just be like a column on the left hand side. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's a bit messy, right? And then if we want to change, uh, if we want to change the, the color maybe of the text. Okay, that's where we need this here. Right? Set color uh, for the text, and then we can set a color for that. So if we choose a color for the text, let's just say, I don't know, um, we could say gold for the text. That might work. Uh, here. And then maybe we'll just choose like an off white or something for the. We want it to be bright, so at night it's, it's kind of it's kind of highlight on the dark screen. We try sky blue. That would probably be nice and bright. Let's do that. Okay, so then this is our. So this goes here, and this goes here, and then this is going to be the color for the numbers. Color for the name, color for the number. All right, let's see how that looks. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So something like that, as you can see, that we put it in reverse, and that the text does it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then if I release the bin, it tells me release container. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to, to kind of update this. And uh, in the next video, uh, we'll see where we go from here. So thanks for watching, and I will see you then.